The year began with a bang, or more specifically, a slap. Actor Will Smith stormed the Oscars stage in March, hitting Chris Rock in the face after the comedian made a joke about Smith's wife, Jada. The ugly incident overshadowing Smith's Best Actor win just moments later. He was later banned from the Oscars for 10 years and posted a lengthy apology. Chris, I apologize to you. No such apologies were issued after the closely watched defamation trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. The divorce stars spent weeks in court accusing each other of disturbing incidents of domestic abuse. He just hit me over and over and over again. I've never struck a woman in my life. Both were ultimately found liable for defamation against each other, with the jury awarding significantly more damages to Depp. Heard appealed the decision, but settled this month. And then there was the year in Ye, rapper formerly known as Kanye West. Early in 2022, he launched an Instagram campaign against comedian Pete Davidson, who was dating his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian. He then stunned observers by wearing a White Lives Matter t-shirt during Paris Fashion Week, but it was anti-Semitic comments made later in the year that sparked even more backlash, losing Ye lucrative partnership deals, including Adidas. Taylor Swift had some bad blood, and this time it wasn't with Ye, but with Ticketmaster. High demand for the pop star's upcoming tour led to a botched pre-sale with error messages, long waits, and outrageous prices. I am really upset with Ticketmaster today. It didn't get tickets to the Taylor Swift concert. Ticketmaster later apologized, saying demand for tickets reached 3.5 billion system requests, a record on its site. Tom Brady is now sporting one less ring, his wedding ring. The football goat and supermodel Giselle Bündchen finalized their divorce in October after 13 years of marriage. It was a rocky year for the couple after Brady returned to the football field following a short 40-day retirement. For all the negative entertainment news of 2022, there was one hopeful note for celebrity watchers and romantics, the return of Benifer. I'm engaged! In April, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck announced they were finally going to be married nearly two decades after their first engagement was called off. Jennifer walked down the aisle not once, but twice, proving that yesterday's headlines could be tomorrow's hope for Hollywood. I'm Love wins. Yes, I'm so glad that this ended on a positive note. <laughs> there were some other rough headlines. Yeah, over there. I know. Right, right, Most right, of right. them were a little tough. <laughs> but that really is the love story of a lifetime. Yeah, it's so great. Carry that energy into 2020. Yes, please. You can see more of this year's headlines, highlights, and history on demand right now on Peacock. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.